Hello everyone, it's Sierra from Visa Place and today I'm going to be sharing some information on Canada's Super Visa option in immigration. A Super Visa is for someone who would like their parent or grandparent to live with them in Canada. With a parent and grandparent Super Visa, eligible parents and grandparents are able to visit their relatives in Canada for up to two years without renewing their status, whereas a 10-year multiple entry visa will only have a status for each entry of six months. So if you're interested in learning more about Canada's Super Visa, I will tell you everything you need to know during this video. So let's get started. One of the first and most popular questions that people ask about obtaining a Super Visa are, is my parents or grandparents eligible or am I eligible? To be eligible for a super visa, the applicant must be a parent or a grandparent to a Canadian citizen or a permanent resident. Dependents of parents and grandparents are not eligible for the super visa. However, they can apply for a regular visitor visa. The super visa applicants must also be admissible to Canada and meet some other conditions. There are several factors that officers must consider before deciding whether an applicant can come to Canada on a super visa. These factors include the ties to his or her home country, the purpose of the visit, the person's family and financial situation, the overall economic and political stability of the home country, and invitations from Canadian hosts. As I spoke about before, parents and grandparents on a super visa can live in Canada for up to two years without renewing their status. If it is their first time applying or they need to renew their visa, the following is required for an application. The correct and completed form to be filled outside of Canada, parents and or grandparents financial situation to be approved, the overall economic and political offer application, invitation from a Canadian host, the parent and or grandparent must show proof of their financial support from their host and meet the minimum household income which is around $17,000 depending on household factors. They must show proof of Canadian medical coverage insurance for at least one year and complete a required medical examination. Now there are some benefits to the Super Visa compared to Canada's Visitor Visa. With the Super Visa Insurance Program, eligible family members will pay fewer fees and have the assurance to visit their families in Canada for a longer period. The government usually issues these visas within eight weeks of the application. The Super Visa Insurance Program covers the visitor during the complete period of the visit and covers any medical expenses that are occurred while in Canada. Since your parents or grandparents are not able to study or work in Canada on a Super Visa, they can help you with things around the house such as cooking, cleaning, or taking care of your children while you are at work. This would help you save money in childcare expenses or any expenses involving household chores. A certified immigration professional can help determine your eligibility if you have a hard time finding your minimum household income or any other requirements for the Super Visa. It is super important to note that the Super Visa does not allow for permanent residence in Canada and you may not include a dependent on your application such as a sibling or child. I hope this brief outline on immigrating to Canada through a Super Visa has inspired your parents or grandparents to apply. If you have any questions or concerns regarding a Super Visa, then contact Visa Place today so we can help you. Click the link in the description to book a consultation so we can help you on your journey to Canada and don't forget to subscribe.